so good to be back. What is good, everyone? My name is Orlando. Welcome to the season premiere of Friday Night Hoops. We start with a bang. One versus two, the Clackamas Cavaliers, the defending champs, ranked number one again. Right on their heels, the Willamette Wolverines, ranked second and ready to claim the top spot. We rolled to Eugene and the Wolverines dead. Is that ESPN? Da -da -da. First quarter, Bryn Smith gets the people going. She had 11 of Willamette's first 14 points. Cavs answer with ball movement. Dylan Mogul drains the three ball. Clackamas up 10 at the half then. Jazzy Davidson takes over a dozen in the third alone. She finished with 24 points on the night. Defending champs pull away in the second half for a big win on the road, 69-51. Lake Oswego making the long trip to visit North Medford. Morgan Hoover brought her A game, putting in work down low. Lakers up early. This game was close throughout. Mariah Lane knocks down the J. She had 10 points, but Olivia Jordan has the answer from the top of the arc. Lake O picks up the dub on the road, 30-27. The Central Catholic Rams are the top rated team in Oregon's coaches poll, hosting South Medford on Friday Night Hoops. The Central Catholic dancers getting everyone fired up. South Medford made a furious rally in the fourth. Ty Dolan getting the ball in the wing and makes the move to the baseline for the bucket. That forces overtime. In the OT, Central Catholic lights out at the free throw line. That was the difference. Rams get the W, 71-68. The Barlow Bruins have emerged as an early contender. The fifth-ranked Bruins put to the test against the seventh-ranked Jesuit Crusaders. All action in this one. Jalen Atkins strong with the jumper. That is pretty. Barlow up six early. Jesuit answers. Joe Stimson, the drive, holsters it. Gets it in for the layup. Back and forth we go. Bruins moving the rock. Blake Hills, the hoop, and the harm. Strong with it. To the final seconds we go. Crusaders down one, but not for long. Isaac Bongen calls game. The freshman clutch. Jesuit gets a big win, 73-71. That final bucket, courtesy of Brady Bohr. Salute, what a shot. Let's head down the road to Beaverton. The Beavers hosting West Lynn. Intros on point in Beaverton. Lights, camera, action. Let's start with the Lions, the freshman, Pat Viabla. Welcome to the show, my man. But Beaverton responds to the max. Max Elmgren, Max Campbell, easy to. Beavers at it again. Campbell to Oliver Lukert to Elmgren. Beavers defend the house. Final count, 67-63. Liberty visiting Southridge, lesson one. Do not leave Carter Fortune open. He'll make you pay. More from the Skyhawks. Bernard Muriamu. One fake is all it takes. Two more for the home team. Liberty, though, answers Tyler Bradford in attack mode. Hoop, harm, tough. Falcons got within four. But Southridge would not be denied, winning 71-62. Listen to this. The Skyhawks 11-1 on the season. Look out. Southridge girls hosting Canes High School from Washington. Visitors attacking Adeline Cox scoring on the break. Then it's Kaleo Anderson, the sophomore, nice drive. But this game belonged to the home team. Moving the rock with efficiency, Sarah Mangan. Oh, drains the three. Southridge improves to nine and two with a 56-41 win. The Camas Papermakers made it all the way to Washington's state title game last year. Well, they're one of the favorites to win it all this year. Hosting Battleground on a busy Friday night. Laser light show to tip things off, and the papermakers had the firepower to match. Kiara Thompson, bang! The junior from the land of three points. 
She led all scores with 15. Later, textbook ball movement, Addison Harris gets the easy bucket. She had 10 points. Then, defense leading to offense, Reagan Jamison finishing off the break. Camus gets a dominant win at home. Papermakers have 10 wins on the season. The revenge tour is in full effect. We head over to Evergreen. Big 3A battle with the Plainsmen hosting Kelso. This was a defensive slugfest. Michael Henderson, the steal, the bucket, plus one. Henderson led all scores with 22 points. Evergreen answers, Arthur Bann, the block party. Leads to a fast break and Marcel Hampton with the finish. Later, it's the same two guys at it again. Hampton to Ban. Evergreen wins a good one. 58-55, Plainsman in first place in the 3A Greater St. Helens. Over at Lakeridge, the Pacers playing host to North Medford. That's the best seat in the house. They didn't bring an umbrella though. Diego Alves had it raining threes. Splash. Then it's Nick Getty, shaking, baking, cooking with the Hezzy. It was a back and forth type of game, but Lakeridge holds on for a 59-56 win. Friday Night Hoops rolls on with a top 10 matchup in 5A ball. Fifth ranked Wilsonville visiting eighth ranked Putnam. This is your Game of the Week. A major battle in the Northwest Oregon Conference. First Friday of 2024 in the home of the Kingsmen. Let's go. The Wildcats spoiled the party. Audrey Count supplying the pressure, turning turnovers into points. Still in the first, Peyton Ratcliffe time. Three points the strong way. She led the way with 21 points. Wilsonville opened the game on a 15 to one run. To the second quarter, Putnam uses the three ball to rally. Akina French, Bryn Bailey knocking him down. Then it's the senior, Riley Lemon. She dropped 23 on him. Putnam got to within 10. But Gabby Moultrie had enough of that. Skills, drills off the window for two of her 14. Wilsonville is for real. Wildcats get the dub 72-53. The boys playing down at Wilsonville. This game also a top 10 matchup. Seventh ranked Putnam facing the defending champs. Third ranked Wilsonville. We picked this one up in overtime. No pressure, fellas. Wildcats on fire in the extra session. Ezra Carter finishes the break. Then it's Callan Gutrich, a regular on the show. The future Beaver with the fadeaway J. Putnam then turns to Brooklyn Latta. The spin move and the lay-in, this one was tight. But gut rich to Carter, we call this a dagger. Wilsonville holds on in overtime, 63-59 the final. Hillsboro visiting Camby Hayes, the Cougar in the house. Camby's Michaela Ford off the bounce, lays it in for the bucket. This also a close game. The Spartans, Marion Sheik. Stops and pops the jumper to keep this one tight. Closing moments of the half here. Missed shot by Camby, but Ryan Shedler. Right place, right time, and she beats the buzzer with the put back. Camby takes it 50-44. Cougars 7-4 on the season. The Westland cheerleaders understood the assignment here. Westland hosting Westview. Sister act for West Lynn. Kyla Buse, the steal, feeds her sister Kaler. Kaler goes in for the score. Westview showed some fight in the first half, hustling for the loose ball. Kalia Medeiros cashes in, but just too much West Lynn. Elena Moore off the dribble into the lane for the score, and West Lynn rolls 63 to 28. 